Smartphone shoppers on a budget are going to be psyched with what they see with the HTC One VX for AT&T because for just 50 bucks, you're getting a big and bright 4.5 inch display, a really sleek design, and really fast 4G LTE speeds. We're going to tell you what we like and what we don't about this bargain. Well, one of the things that we love about the One VX is that it's not designed as if it were a budget phone because you're looking at a handset that is actually really thin and light. This is 0.36 inches thick and 4.4 ounces. The front of the phone is dominated by this aluminum band, which, which gives the handset a, a really sturdy feel. The front of the phone is dominated by this 4.5 inch display that's nice and bright. It's not the highest resolution that we've seen. It's QHD or 960 by 540 pixels. But again, the color accuracy is really good. You can see that the richness here and the, the viewing angles are nice and wide. The bottom of the phone has the micro USB the right hand side has the volume rocker and up top you'll find the headphone jack as well as the power button. And the back has a matte plastic cover where you'll see the HTC logo along with Beats Audio. The, uh, the speaker here doesn't get terribly loud but you get much better sound when you have headphones plugged in because this Beats Audio comes on automatically. This is a 5 megapixel camera that's capable of 1080p video along with flash. This cover does come off and you can add a micro SD card slot as well as access the SIM card slot but the battery is not user replaceable. That's one of the few strikes against the phone's design. The One VX is running Sensefor software on top of Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Yes, you're not getting the latest Jelly Bean OS which means you won't enjoy features like Google Now or offline voice typing until both AT&T and HTC get around to upgrading this device, but they do promise that it's coming. Otherwise, the phone is fairly easy to navigate. This is the set software that you can see things here, like the uh, widgets that you can add, like contacts for family. Uh, you can add additional home screens, and uh, this is the app menu right here. And you can see that, just like all HTC devices, you have the animated weather forecast as you open that application. As you drop down from here you can see all of your notifications and unlike other phones that we've seen from Samsung and LG, we do wish that you could access more of the settings up top, but otherwise uh, the phone is fairly straightforward to navigate. One thing that newbies will appreciate is that switching applications is fairly easy via the recent apps button right here using this 3D carousel. Android purists might not like it, but we think it's fairly easy to use. One of the hallmark features of the HTC One VX is the 5 megapixel camera which includes HTC's ImageSense software. So what's that, what that means is, is that you could fire up the camera very quickly. You can see it just loaded just about a second, maybe even less. And you have this rapid fire action if you just press and hold down the shutter button. Up to four frames per second, and then it saves all the photos, and then you can choose the best one that you want. Overall, the image quality was good. Indoors, some of the images look a little bit fuzzy, as you can see there, but outdoors, Details were really good, the colors were rich. Our only complaint is that in some shots, some details got blown out in wider areas and brighter areas of the photo. But overall, you're getting very good pictures uh, for your 49 bucks. We were definitely pleasantly surprised by the 4G LTE speeds delivered by the One VX in our tests. As you can see right here in Manhattan, you can load sites like CNN com within just a couple of seconds. This is the mobile version, but even desktop, full desktop sites were loading between 10 and 12 seconds. And this also bore out in our speed test results with download speeds ranging as high as 29 megabits per second, in some cases 39. And on the downlink, we were seeing anywhere between 10 and 12, as much as 22 megabits per second. The browser itself uh, is fairly responsive, but you may or may not like this browser bar down here that AT&T provides. You do get quick access to things like Facebook and liking and tweets, and if you want to move over you can see popular news stories from Yahoo uh, as well as get daily offers. If you don't like this, you can always disable the bar or download an alternative browser like Chrome. One of the areas that budget phones usually skimp is battery life, but as you can see in our battery test, which surfs the web on 4G LTE speeds, for as long as the phone lasts, the 1800 milliamp battery inside the One VX lasted 6 hours and 58 minutes, which is about an hour long, longer than the Android average, and definitely longer than a lot of other budget phones. So when you add it all up, the One VX is a really fantastic value. For $49, you're getting a premium design that's thin and light and easy to use with one hand, 
but you're also getting a big and bright display, blazing 4G LTE speeds, and long battery life. You simply won't find a better value on AT&T or any other carrier at this price. This is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Magazine.